Good morning. Well, once again, I don't need to turn the cup. It says Winnipeg all over the place. Welcome to It's Trying Very Hard to Be Sunny, Winnipeg. Yeah, it's, uh, well, you know, the sunrise this morning was kind of nice, even though you hardly got to see the sun. Well, eventually we did get to see it. Uh, but once again, it's not about the sunrises. It's about uh, what we did here. <laughs> yeah, it, uh, the rollback is uh, something else, I'll tell you. In fact, I'll put on the bottom of the rollback uh, where you can get to the end of it. If you just get to the place where you can't take no more. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, what happened was I was gluing that, that up and I, I broke a little piece. I broke part of the photo etch at one of the folding joints. Well, you'll see in the rollback. Had to get out the soldering iron. Uh, let's just roll back and then we'll continue on. Okay, continuing right along here this afternoon. Now this starfish or whatever it is, um, or they may not call it on the Rodney, or it, it could be that this is just some sort of an antenna, but I don't think so. Anyway, We've got, uh, it, it looks spindly to me. It looks more spindly than I, than I thought it was. Now I can see the, the folding lines like here and here. So, so what's going to happen is this triangular shape piece here is going to fold down. Yeah, I can see how, that, how that's going to go. I'm just going to move in a little bit here. We'll, we'll, we'll get this lower section and then we'll move up and we'll get the upper section. Well, when we did the lower section, I forgot to press record. All right, this whole thing should be loose now. There we go. should go ahead and make this piece up and uh, see how it goes and then move up, move down to the next step uh, or should I maybe get all the parts now for step uh, 25 I, th I think maybe I'm just going to go ahead and make up this one piece here and sort of get myself in the, in the uh, groove you might say um, I'm, I'm just wondering now is this am I going to be able to use Andy's bender here for this or is this piece is going to be too big. Don't know if I can get it all under there. Um, I think I might have to use the uh, Tamiya photo etch plier for this. Okay, I think I've got this thing adjusted more or less horizontal. And we're going to let gravity be our friend here. And, uh, yeah, I think we'll just use the Maybe we'll just use the quick setting. Because we, we have to have this put together before we can put the, the photo etch on. Now, where is my quick setting? That's a regular. Okay.
For some reason it does not seem to be sitting right. I put on my strong glasses here. Oh, I see what's wrong. There we go. Um, you know what? I think the quick set is dried. Well, maybe I better use the regular. Get this ready to go. And it, uh, it can go the wrong way quite easily. Okay, let's do this again. We'll probably have to file the edges down afterwards, but it, it, it does appear to be, I think I've got it more or less right now. Although it could maybe squish up just a little bit here. Yeah, I think that's better. Okay, well our part is drying here. I would have liked to have used Andy's bender for this, but I don't think it would fit. So I'm just going to grab this piece where I don't want it to bend. If I squeeze it like this, okay. Now the folding lines are on this side, so that means it has to go, be bent this way. And it, it should go fairly, fairly good here. Um, that's not bending right. Uh, what can I use as a... Get some pressure on it there. I want to bend that flat. There, squeeze it tight and try it like this. I'm trying to hold it so that you can see what's happening. I wonder if maybe I was to use Andy's bender. Not exactly how it's supposed to be done, but uh, all right, that's not quite right, is it? Mm. Yeah, it's getting it. Okay, that, that looks pretty good to me. Now, let's just move this over here. Now, now this one, we want to bend it this way. Okay, it seems to be bending better now. Maybe maybe the folding line on this other one is a little bit... Mm. 
Well, let's bend this one down so it'll be at the right angle. Okay, a little bit more maybe. Oops. Oh no, I got it bent in the in the wrong spot here. Straighten that out. Maybe if I went like this. Yeah, it's kind of working. Now this one here. Well, it's kind of like trying to straighten out a grasshopper, isn't it? Whoa. I've only got one of these. I don't want to I don't want to schmuck it up too badly. Well, I think once I once I get it on that uh, this, this part there that we're glued up, I should be able to uh, ad adjust it accordingly. But but this this one right here, you can probably see it better than I can. It's not quite right, is it? I'm gonna have to take it off camera. I think here can't quite. I think maybe I got it there, sort of. At least it, there's no soldering involved here. Uh, obviously it's folded too far in. Oh, did I break it off? You know what? I broke it at the folding line. Now I'm going to have to solder that. Oh, shoot. Uh, that's too bad. You can see I broke it there. Okay, well, let's get out the soldering iron. Okay, I think I have more or less got it in the right place here. And, uh... Yeah, the... the connection is right there. Maybe I'll put on the macro lens. Now I'm hoping that the tweezer is not going to act too much like a heat sink. I've got a set of 370 Celsius. Does it look like it? I, I think that I've got it. I think the joint is, uh, well, we'll soon know. Let's just touch it with something and see if it, if it, uh, if it moves. No. It, it's not a very wasn't a very strong joint. And I'm moving it out of the I'm gonna have to readjust, sorry. Okay, I've turned it ninety degrees.
Okay, that, that looks better from my perspective. Okay, it has to be glued on like that. And then this piece goes on top. I wonder if it would be better to maybe glue it on this piece first, like this. That way we can let gravity be our friend, right? Then this piece could go on like this. Yeah, that, that makes a lot more sense. Okay, just... Just gonna, does it gonna wanna wanna fit like that? Because this this should lock into that channel there. Well, you know what? We gotta we gotta clean this up a little bit. Remember, I said I was going to file that down, so I think I'm just gonna do that first. So let's just carefully move this out of the way here, so we're not gonna bend it and break it again. Okay, is it perfect? No. Is it better? Yes. Noticing somehow I got a little scratch on there. Can't remember if that was there already when I put it together or what happened. Anyway, if we try and fit this together like this, it locks into place. But I think the thickness of the photo edge is what is making it so it won't lock into place here now. And, and another thing, uh, I don't think the uh, Tamiya Extra Thin is the glue to use. I think we're going to have to use uh, CA glue here. There might be enough of a part coming up there that will kind of catch. Well, or maybe not. Oh, I don't want to force anything and have to re-solder that. There. It, it's it's locked into place. Okay. Um, I wonder if there is enough plastic there. I wonder if there is. Maybe a combination of the two. Maybe what I'll do is I'll, I'll wet... I'll wet this one with, with the extra thin, get it in place, and then afterwards reinforce it with, with CA. Makes sense to me. There. Okay, it's on. I can feel it's, it's locked into place there. Okay, let's just let that dry. Now, a fair amount of time has passed here this evening. And I was thinking that, you know, I could probably get away with putting the CA on, on right now. But you know that, uh, to me, an extra thin that we put on there, it's possible that it, uh, you know, still a little bit wet underneath the photo etch. I was noticing that it did sort of seep on there pretty good, or seep underneath, if you, you might say. And uh, it might still be wet there. So we'll just leave that overnight. And I think our uh, soldering joint is going to hold. I think. Anyway, we'll see you in the morning. Well, it is morning, and we were going to see 
what we could do about reinforcing this. Now remember, I did uh, see the, the uh, extra thin wicking underneath these parts here that went out, and undoubtedly it will have uh, dissolved some of the plastic, but it will not have stuck well to the photo etch, whereas the CA glue will stick well to the photo etch, sort of. Now, we got this this one here. I think we should push this just so it gets into that corner just a little bit better. That, there, that, that's that's better. Now, what, how's the other one doing? The other one's pretty much right. It could almost come out. This is the one that we got to be careful with. There. I want to try and get it. Maybe I get it too much here. I'm going to try and get it so that it's going to be adhering right on, on the corner here, if you know what I mean. And um, I'm going to try and do this all at once. Now, this part here should be pushed down. Uh, but when I push this down, then what happens is it pulls this away from the corner. So I wonder what I can do about that unless I was to... I don't want to be snapping it off here now. Maybe we're just going to have to just leave it the way it is. If we if we want if we want this to be adhered to the corner, maybe if I shove this in a little bit better. kind of helps. I think I'm just going to leave well enough alone. It would be nice if this was right, right along here. Now I know that there's going to be a certain amount of buildup un underneath between this part here and this part here. But uh, let's say I was going to use the uh, I was going to use the uh, CA thin, but maybe I should be using the the medium because it'll be more gap filling, if you know what I mean. Well, let's uh, let's do something here. I think maybe what I'll do is I'm going to use the uh, the thin here because it'll it'll wick its way into all the all the cracks, and then we'll maybe use the uh, the the thick or medium and some of the other places, like maybe right here. Well, let's just see what happens. Let's just put a little bit on here. I've got a fairly new uh, spout on this thing, so... Yeah, you can see it wicking its way in. Underneath, I'll do the same on the other side. Yeah, you can you can actually see it right here, but between the plastic here and the piece of photo etch, now it's it's probably hardened, so we're not going to be able to do too much uh, adjusting now. But I, I'm I'm pretty sure that that this part here is not going to be too easily broken away from this part here. Now, as for what are we going to do right here? Should I use the thin or let me see if there's a, I might have to mix up some medium here. Although I don't know, it's, uh, let's just see what would happen here. This might be thicker than I think it is. Okay. 
Now, if that will cure like that, I'm pretty sure that this gap right here is filled. I should really have the macro lens on. I'll put the macro lens on, we'll have a closer look. I'll be able to see it better myself in the monitor too. Okay, right now I'm kind of trying to look in the monitor and watch what I'm doing at the same time here. They're, they're pretty much on the corner where I'd wanted them. But does it look like the gap is filled there, or should I maybe get out the, the medium? Well, if it breaks away, then I'll redo it. But I think if I'm careful, um, yeah, if I'm careful. Okay, this is just my opinion, and I could be wrong. But I think that in all likelihood, when Trumpeter uh, drew this manual up, they thought that in that most most builders would likely be CAing their their parts together. For instance, we got this this part here. We have to find uh, D D sixteen, which is which is this piece right here, and it it has to go. Okay, right, right across right here. And then and then there are going to be, I guess you call them gussets, coming out the sides, uh, which, which would be like these kind of pieces here. Um, now, I can't obviously solder this now because the, the heat will travel along, even if I was just to try and do it on the end here. I think what would happen is the heat would travel along and this this uh, plastic, which has a very low temperature melting point, I think I've never measured it to see what it is, but I mean it's it's probably pretty low, and it's not like the uh, cookware that I've got, that I've got that I can put in the oven. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of a plastic. Well, that's silicone, isn't it? Uh, anyway, uh, yeah. So we we are now uh, committed. To soldering these these the rest of this together, I, I pardon me, I mean CAing the rest of this together. Uh, so uh, let's let's just go ahead now and and get some of these pieces here. Um, I don't know if we're going to be able to do uh, any more today yet. It's it's getting on, and um, as I've mentioned before, the the longer that I uh, leave these videos to put to getting them posted. Um, the less chance of them being in high definition. They, you could end up having to begin watching the <laughs> episode in 360p, which is terrible. Uh, <laughs> but I guess it's better than nothing. Anyway, uh, yeah, well, let's just quit talking about it, and let's uh, cut some pieces here. So I was getting my tins out here, and I was going to make up some labels for our photo etch pieces. I think there's four or five different types of photo etch brackets that we have to put on. And I was remembering that one of the viewers had wondered if maybe this piece, the H20, that we were having so much, that I mentioned that I had so much trouble getting inside here, um, he thought that maybe I put it in the wrong way, that it should have gone the other way. And uh, I was thinking about it, and I'm just wondering, now, now I have honestly not tried that. I had just assumed that this part here would go over top of this ring. And, and sort of eyeballing it now, I'm still pretty sure that's the way it's supposed to go. So, but I just want to try it. This is the first time. Yeah. Yeah, I, w I was right. But anyway, th thanks for the suggestion. It wouldn't be the first time I glued together a part wrong. But <laughs> this time I had it right. Yeah, not a relief. And a bit of a surprise.
Okay. Photo etch B15. Alright, that is the last of the, I believe it's nine pieces of photo etch we need to complete this part of step 25. And uh, we are going to have to continue on in uh, tomorrow's rollback with this. I'm going to cut today's episode off. And uh, thanks for watching everybody. And all being well, we will see you tomorrow.